welcome back to the channel um, today I'm basically going to be getting in here and getting started on removing uh, everything to uh, get this engine up and out of here if you've seen uh, some of my previous videos on this thing I was trying to get it running um, but for some reason it's just not wanting to carry enough fuel pressure and and yeah um, basically that led me down the road to uh, pulling the spark plugs out on this side and finding out that this engine has a bad head gasket or something along, along those lines because uh, all of the cylinders over here on the passenger side or the right side of the vehicle, whichever you would like to call it, was filled up with coolant. Um, if, if that brown stuff right there is what you want to call that. <laughs> but, but yeah, um, I've gotten out here and in the last video i done, I got out here and, and kind of cleaned up the shop a little bit. Still didn't get nothing done with my desk but i've got everything moved back away from the vehicle to make it a little bit easier to to get around it and to be able to work on it and that's kind of one of the things that you want to do if you're attempting to do a project like this because you're going to have um you know you're going to have this car uh you know lifted up off of the ground and um all of that to drain fluids and everything else possibly a few times and you don't want to have to worry about tripping over stuff or anything like that and one thing i like to do whenever it comes to uh engine removals i take and i'll set up a little um basically work work table or a place where I can stack all of my different uh, parts that I pull off like um, like the alternator uh, the fan and just different stuff like that so you'll want to have some place that you can put uh, all of those parts and keep them uh, organized so that's that's what I'm gonna do with that table over there and and yeah um, basically uh, I don't think that I'm gonna quite get the engine out this video but I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna make a pretty good start on it uh, I gotta drain the uh, the oil the coolant uh, I got to get all of these belts off of the front of the engine, the fan, uh, basically all of that good kind of stuff. Spark plug wires, and and yeah. So so basically, uh, I'm going to start off with getting the fluids drained, and uh, pretty much the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and get your battery disconnected. Um, that's, you, you don't want to be, uh, getting in here and working on an engine, uh, with the, uh, battery hooked up and I've, and I've already disconnected the battery. So, so we're good to go there, but, uh, on that note, uh, yeah, time to get this thing jacked up and get the fluids drained out of it and, and proceed on. So, if you guys uh, want to see more of this, I'm going to be uh, eventually uh, getting this motor out and I'm going to be pulling probably both of the heads off, which is going to require taking the timing chain out and, and all of that. So, so yeah, I've, I've got myself a little bit of work here to do on this. So, so if you want to find out more on how to do all of this type of stuff please uh consider subscribing to my channel and and if you enjoy the video on this 
old 500 SEL here, uh, please give it a like. Um, I'd, I'd greatly uh, appreciate everybody that, that has subscribed to my channel. So, so on that note, let's get started. All right, well, I had a little bit of a uh, change in plans here. This radiator in this car um, has evidently been replaced uh, because whatever that is, I, it's not stock. So I kind of ran into the problem of being able to get those uh, radiator hoses off down there in the bottom. Uh, because both of the, uh, uh, well, both of these fittings right here are turned up against the fan shroud, and I can't get to them with the fan shroud there. And to be able to get the fan shroud out, I gotta have the fan off of it. And to, well, I mean, it just kind of goes on from there. So I basically just got in here and removed all of the belts. Um, and and yeah, so now I'm going to have to get in here to get to these uh, water pump bolts. And we'll get, we'll get those taken out. And, and then I'll undo this upper radiator hose and fan shroud. And then I'll remove uh, the uh, hoses down there. Well, the uh, coolant tank hose, I'll remove that going down uh, to be able to drain the uh, coolant out of it. So, so that's kind of where I'm at now. But, but these, uh, these belts are super easy to get off of here. Um, just the way that they've got some of the uh, belt adjustments just makes it really fairly easy to be able to get them off of there. I had to remove this one power steering line because it covers up that bolt there. So, so yeah, but I'll, uh, I'll get after it and we'll get this, uh, fan and shroud and radiator, uh, basically removed and kind of go from there. All right. Um, I've got the, uh, well, as you can see, I got the fan out, the shroud, and now, basically, I'm going to come in here on this hose uh, to uh, get it to drain. And this hose right here comes down off of your uh, coolant reservoir. And, and hopefully, I don't make a great big old mess. Um, I do have a fairly decent sized uh, drain pan under here but but one thing I like to do is get onto it with some uh, pliers and we'll just kind of uh, rotate that hose around and make sure that it's uh, freed up off of a uh, off the uh, uh, port on the on the radiator and well wow, that thing's coming right off of there fairly easily which is kind of hard to believe but but now I'll just kind of work it back off of there and just slowly let it drain Alright, um, I've got the uh, radiator out and the uh, AC condenser and one thing about uh, pulling that condenser out um, you want to make sure that there is nothing in the system because uh, you basically just don't want to let that stuff off out into the atmosphere and to uh to do that you get in here and you hook up your gauges to your ports on your lines right there 
and and yeah you just check it for pressure but this car here has never been converted over over to R134A this thing still has the fittings on it for R12 and and if you can find R12 it's going to be well at least here in the uh, United States it's going to be fairly expensive if you even know anybody that still has gauges for it um i've still got gauges now whether or not they work or not um is you know my best guess but but yeah you always want to get in there and make sure that you ain't got no pressure in that and now um i've basically gotten in here and I've started taking apart the wiring, or I say taking it apart, started unplugging the wiring. Um, you've, got, you've got a few things up here. Um, you've got that connection there. You've got your warm-up regulator here. Um, and now this is just for this group of wires here. You've also got another connection back here um where else was there uh there's one all the way right clear back here and and yeah so now there's another set of wires here and these come up and down from uh down there basically at that junction box and now it's only got a couple of hookups it's got this one right here that plugs in uh, to your thermostat. And then it's got one right, right here that runs clear back all the way back up into here. Now, if I can just find where, where I unplugged it from. Oh yeah, right, right there. And now, now that one there, if if you hadn't noticed it, you probably would have pulled pulled it off um, if you know if you didn't undo it. But but yeah, there's there's wires in here that you know are kind of kind of hard to see, and you've also got some up here on a micro switch. You got another one there um basically on another switch and those are pretty much all of the wires that hook up to this engine besides down there on the alternator but i think i think i'm going to call it good on uh on this video here um i've been out here for a while doing all of this just trying to make sure that i don't break any of these old uh, plastic uh, pieces and all of that but but yeah i think that's a pretty good start for now um probably in the next video uh, there's a few things that i'm going to have to have to do to be able to get this other wire that runs all the way back there out i got to take off uh basically these pieces here for the uh um air system on it and and yeah um then after i get all of that done i can get throttle linkage and and basically i'm gonna i'm gonna have to pull all of these uh alternator ac compressor power steering pump and stuff like that off of here and then I can start getting the uh, bell housing bolts out and, and yeah, start getting it taken out of here. But, but yeah, I'm, uh, I just want to thank everybody for watching it. And if you've made it this far, congratulations. Um, maybe you've counted how many times I said, you know, but I don't know, <laughs> but but yeah, I'm going to call it good for there, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.